So, let's talk about the Monster Tech M1 unit in this video. Now, I created this extra video. It's not, a, not really an official update like the ones that I usually do. The update 14 was the one that we looked at the last time. And today I'm gonna give you my skeptical review of why I feel a bit skeptical about the whole process and what we're gonna receive or not receive at some point. Now, <clears throat> I have no answer for you whether this is going to succeed or not. People call it scam or not. I don't really go to that extent right now, but I would really like to talk about what are my skeptical thoughts because I've been quite positive about it in my videos and kind of tried to be uplifting about the whole idea that we're getting an upgrade to the Flipper Zero. But, you know, let's talk about, you know, what are we actually seeing in update 14? And we talked about, they showed us this horrible, semi good looking, um, 3D printing case. I could probably go and find it on Thingiverse or something like that. Uh, let's just try it right now. Why not? You know, I, I'm not even sure it's going to be here, but let's just try to type it out. No, Mon, I cannot spill. Monster Tech. No, of course not. Anyways, M1 maybe. Hmm. But it wouldn't surprise me if I could probably get someone to design this case for me. I could 3D, 3D print it myself. The problem with this is that it looks really weird. It looks um, like a shadow of what, what was. So let's let's talk about what they posted on Hackaday.io. <clears throat> and they, they created this like in 2024. The schematic again, an update for it. Uh, the 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 uh, I have the American dates are so weird to me. Anyways, it's not now. It's it's a while ago. But scrolling down a bit, we are seeing this video right here. Let's have a view of it. Okay. So we are actually seeing, oops, a somewhat great looking unit. I can maybe zoom in this a bit, and. It actually, you know, let me just be clear with you. This looks like a different plastic, you know. It looks like a molded type of plastic. The one you're going to see on the original Flipper Zero kind of molded plastic with the shine, the glare. You know, even the screen looks more professional. The button looks more professional. The hands are real. This is not AI generated, you know. People ha have to <laughs> come to some sort of conclusion that AI cannot make these kind of things. But... What is this kind of thing they have? They already have firmware right here in the video where they actually read stuff. Or is it? Or is this just an emulation of software outputting something to the screen where they just create it now? If you detect anything, just show this and show that. And then they have some different kind of sub menus. I don't really know. But it definitely look a lot nicer here. So I would say coming from this to this, it's like, what is going on? Okay, so I I want to be skeptical about it, and I feel either something is completely wrong with the angle and the lighting and everything, and this is not polished at all. This is a raw uh, material print. But again, it looks different. This looks a lot nicer, a lot more polished. This is what they said is a full device assembly. Um, prototypes great but they already had this at that point so the problem is they post something give the impression that they actually have created something and it's just the prototype that is the prototype they show right there on the screen this is like some home project you know and and i i do feel that oh, i don't know how to say it we need more upgrades, you know, um, and we need proof and videos and, and this is, you know, this is just depressing to watch, you know, you have something that actually works and you can actually see, if you look closely on the screen, it looks like it's not 100%, you know, what you can call it aligned with the bottom, 
It looks like there's some extra space, a little tilted maybe. Maybe it's the angle, also looks like there. So uh, is, it, is this really just a fabricated thing they put on there? Or is it real? Do they have this unit right here? So that's one of the videos we, we, we saw. And scrolling down even further, you know, we have these kind of images right here. And this looks really actually like a real... This is the actual screen. This is the board. This is the casing you can see right here. I'm zoom a bit on it. And uh, I need to go a little bit. And you can actually see it's being worked on. Some scratches and real plastics molded on, you know, um, real boards, you know. You can, you can see it's being worked on with the buttons and everything. And they put their, 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 their hard time, you know, hours into it. And you can definitely see that there are some molding here going on but it doesn't look like a 3d printed thing 100 percent looking at this right here you know it looks maybe a bit more rough than the one we just saw but then again it's also zoomed in on a lot so taking this image right here and just accepting the fact that the, okay please <laughs> that this one right here is a lot better than this sad thing. It even looks like the screen is. Let me just see. Uh, the screen is probably the same size, but there's so many wrong things about this. You know, it, it looks like they completely ditched the design and did something different. And I'm really sad to see that. Looking further here, we can even go to this image right here and zoom in a lot on this and we can see that this is where we have the first design and this looks like a regular 3d printed case as you can see all the lines you know 3d printing lines there again you know, something that you can do on a bamboo lab print or something like that and then you have something like this here below and what I kind of feel is, I don't really understand why this is so glare, you know, this actually doesn't look like glare. This looks like we're back to some, you know, good quality 3D printing, but this part here is really, did they actually put, you know, um, what you call that, you know, you spray on it and it gets more glarish, they put some, some material on it to make it more glaring, you know, I don't know what that's called. And then we have another video down here, you know, and more of it. And even so, when we zoom in on this device, this is a fabricated image, I don't care about that. But this one looks real. And when you take a look at this, you can definitely see that this is a 3D printed button. And it's fine, you know, I have nothing against 3D printing buttons, but it is just, Again, some glare, you know, and I don't really, I don't understand why the inconsistency is so big. Okay, so there are a few things that I do question, and the things we question is why, why these, why, mm. yeah, I don't know what to say. You know, we can, we can try and zoom on this a bit and, and see if we can, uh, maybe I should just open a new tab and just... The graphic is not that great, you know, but you can definitely see that there are some small lumps. No, that is, no, that's not a part of the board. Yeah, it's small those 3D printing lumps right there. There is definitely no glare here going on. And the buttons look, this just looks like really typical 3D printed stuff, you know, it doesn't really have, it's just a thing when you, I have 3D printed a lot, which I have. I have my own 3D printer, I have a bamboo lab actually at home. You know, you just know that things doesn't always, I'm just looking for a thing I can show you. Um, <clears throat> you know, one of my early projects was like printing some, some big figures. This is one of my, my, on my first 3D printer, I printed this figure. And, but what I want to show you is uh, this, you know, some of the things you see on 3D printed stuff is this, for example. 
you can see like there is this pattern of layers and the button below where the support was to hold the figure is a little more edgy, right? And this is what you see. And this is also why things are not clipping together right here and it's not, it looks a bit cheap. Um, so what we will receive, you know, I, I actually think we're going to receive something, I'm going to say something, but will we get this or not? That is the question that I ask in this video.